says the following having faith and a good conscience which some having rejected concerning the faith have suffered a shipwreck so Paul is saying that we must have faith and he also connects something else to faith he says a good conscience and he says some people rejected this good conscience and because of that concerning the faith the faith suffered a shipwreck so faith has went through a shipwreck because faith was not secured by a good conscience now let's read in same timothy apostle paul says in first timothy chapter 3 verse 9 he said the following holding on the mystery of the faith with a pure conscience so it's interesting how apostle paul says the way you hold on to the faith that you have in god is with the pure conscience that means faith does not just hang in there in the air great faith in god it's not just something that just floats out there in the air but he says it's held it's made secure with a pure conscience so we can come to the conclusion that a conscious is the insurance for your faith but let's read one more verse in the same letter to first timothy and this is chapter 4 verse 1 and verse 2 it says the following now the spirit expressly says that in the later days means in the in the last days some will depart from the faith so in the last days people will depart from the faith not meaning they will lose salvation but they will walk away from living a life of faith giving heed to the deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons speaking lies and hypocrisy having their own conscience seared with hot iron so we see apostle paul in one letter three times connects your faith to your conscience he's not saying that your faith comes from your conscience we all know faith comes from the hearing and the hearing from the word of god romans chapter 10 we know that faith comes from seeing god's works jesus says in gospel of john but what we see apostle paul describes is what he says is that faith gets secured and insured by conscience violated conscience shipwrecks faith when your conscience is violated your faith suffers a wreck it gets wrecked it suffers you can listen to testimonies until your phone dies you can listen and read the bible until you fall asleep but if after all of that is done your conscience is compromised your faith is as good as titanic it's shipwrecked it's beautiful it's strong but apostle paul tells a young timothy and today this words sound to young people in the 21st century that your faith is insured by pure and a good conscience and without this conscience without paying attention to your conscience you allow your faith to be hit an iceberg and get shipwrecked 